Hi, everybody. This is Dee. Uh, I've been dying yarn and weaving baskets like a crazy woman, trying to keep myself busy while Mark is deer hunting. So, um, my hands are an absolute mess. As you can see, they're blue, and my fingernails are all broke off, and that's from weaving baskets and dying yarn. So, first off, I wanted to show you the yarn. Um, it's dried and hanged, so I wanted to uh, show it to you. The video dyeing it was the one that I put out before this. But this, now you can see the speckle. You'll see what I'm talking about. Can you see the little speckles all on it? Aren't they cool? I love that. I've never had uh, dyed speckled yarn before. And then this one. So there's those three. Put them back here in the basket. There's these two, which are on zebra bases. They're all different colors of purples. It's coming out kind of blue there, but it's not really. It's dark purples. Then I got, now of course you know I got to do some teal and blue on the zebra base, which I think turned out real pretty. But of course, I because that's my favorite color. Okay, this these ones are on the speckled base. These are the ones that I did with black, gray, and red. Oxblood red and cherry bomb. These are the colors of red I used on those. These ones are red, purple, and black. I think they turned out pretty cool. They're on that speckled base as well. And I got these three in the greens. All different colors of greens on there. I love these speckles. Oh my gosh, I wanted to get more of that. I was having such a good time with the speckle yarn that I used it all up. <laughs> so three of those I have. And look at, th this is my favorite one. I know you would think the blue was, but this is my favorite one. Look at these. Tones of browns, oranges, and honey mustard. Ah, uh, with the speckles. These ones are gorgeous. I don't even know if the camera's doing it justice. These ones are my favorite. Okay, and then I've got these ones. These are done in burgundies and pink and black. And they're also done in the speckled yarn. I think they turned out real nice. Yeah, my nails are a mess. Everything's a mess. And then I did a bunch of minis. I did three in the, uh, was it black, honey mustard, brown, and orange. These ones are done in purple, red, and black. And these ones are done in the black, gray, and two different colors of red. So I made some minis. Those over there. Okay, now the baskets. I want to save the best for last. That's my elk horn basket, elk antler basket. That one is done. And I also made a couple in between there. Okay, this one I put eucalyptus leaves on it's got two handles so there's that one there's this one now this is one that hangs on a doorknob or you can hang it on the wall as you can see the back is flat to put mail in or you know flowers or whatever I did a, a cane handle and Looks like a snowflake star kind of thing on the front here. So there's that one. And then this one's first time I ever made a basket like this with the dip down in the front. And I think this one turned out really nice. I used a lot of different colors in this one. And it has a small wood base. And then uh, if you can see the variations in the pinks and the colors. I, I think this one turned out beautiful. I love this one. I think I'm going to put a plant in this one. Okay. 
Now, this one I got to get up for. This thing is gigantic, okay? But it is done. Yay. All right, hold on one second. Let me grab it. Ugh. Okay. I don't know if you can see my chairs in the way. Okay, this, I took a set of Elkhorns and went along the handle, which I did in, I don't know if you can see, it's done in what's called a double arrow weave. And then I took cane and attached the horns. I did a God's eye here in the center and cane. And then the different colors of the basket. And then I put legs on the bottom. But this thing, you could probably fit a couple of children in it, actually. But I stained it in pecan, is the color name. Pecan. Pecan, pecan, whatever. This is the other side. And this is a humongous basket. And I love it. I think it turned out really well. That'd be a good, uh, like for Afghans or something next to the fireplace kind of thing. I think that's what that would be good for. Okay, so that's the baskets and the yarn. Let's see, do I want to, what do I got over here? I got a bunch of stuff to show you. Um, no, I think I'm going to leave it at that. I'm going to do another video. I've got some books from Book Outlet. Um, I also have uh, my Lether box. I also have to call a winner um, for the replay giveaway. And so um, you'll probably be seeing me again. But that's it for now. So I hope you enjoyed uh, seeing my baskets and the yarn that, you know, is ending up in the, in the yarn basket. And um, I'll see you guys soon. And don't forget your thummies. If you're not subscribed, consider it. And tomorrow, well, it'll be today when you see this, is Saturday. So we're going to have our Saturday Night Live at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Be there, be square. You never know. You might get one of these baskets. You never know. All right, guys. Let's see if this clicker works. Here we go. Bye. Much love, my friends.